Hello, I'm Black Bright, and as you know, I try to uncomplicate complicated things, but in so doing, I could miss valuable information, so I always ask that you check, double check, and do your own research. Speak to immigration lawyers and whatever you need to do to reassure yourself that what I'm saying has an element of validity to it. Um, really, what I do is I throw things out there and I expect you to take what I say and maybe investigate it to see if you can apply it to your case. Now, we've had a lot of news recently about all of the children um, of EU nationals that are going to be vulnerable, that could be stateless, that you're not going to have any um, residents, are not going to be able to access schools, banks, driving license, and it's a bit like the Windrush, and it's very, it must be very, very scary for EU nationals who have children in this country and who thought this country was theirs. Firstly, I'm not quite sure, um, children who've been in the country for five years, surely their um, birth certificate, schools, GP, that should really qualify them to have um, to prove that they are settled in the UK. I'm not quite sure. Um, the only thing is, is that I need to let you know that a child born before 2nd of October 2000 to an EEA national parent will be a British citizen if one, the parent was exercising EC treaty rights at the time of his or her birth. A child born in the UK between the 2nd of October and the 30th of April 2006, sorry, a child born in the UK between the 2nd of October 2000 and the 30th of April 2006 to an EEA national parent will only be a British citizen if the parent had indefinite leave to remain in the UK at the time of birth. I mean, this is like deja vu. You know, all this information I've been giving about Windrush and foreign nationals, I didn't realise that it was so similar <coughs> um, to the EU nationals, only that the length of time that they have is five years instead of, you know, with foreign nationals, it's between 10 and 20 years. Um, apparently 0 0.2 million children could become illegal um, because it's the parents' responsibility and they can only register if they're settled. It needs an effective parent, somebody who knows the forms. Apparently the forms are made out to be um, quite easy, but apparently they're very difficult. So you need somebody who's clued up. Um, what else? Um, a permanent resident card is proof of lawful residence. Um, it's required for naturalisation, which the holders are eligible for after they obtain permanent residence after one year. I say that because that is the premise upon which a child can be registered if the parent holds a permanent resident card. Technically, a child born in the UK to an EU national is a British citizen, but because permanent resident cards were not systematically issued, it will be difficult to prove that a child was born in the UK, was born to a parent with settled status at the time of their birth. So it's not enough for the child to be born in the UK. Very similar to the Windrush situation and what foreign nationals are going through now, the parents have to have a settled status. And if they haven't, and if they come over to the UK believing like the Windrush generation, that they had rights, that they didn't need proof, that they were going along their merry way, this could be difficult. Apparently for those who are retired or self-employed who may not have um, a consistent amount of tax, tax, sorry, tax records, they could have problems proving um, their residency or the fact that they have been continuously in the country and they haven't been out of the country for more than six months, which is a criteria. Um, every child will have to demonstrate that they have the right to remain post-Brexit. Children are dependent on an effective grown-up making the application on their behalf. Um, 
children need to have been in the UK for five years or more or born in the UK, like I said, in order to get settled status. Otherwise, they have pre-settled status, which is a bit like, um, I guess it's a bit like limited leave to remain, isn't it? Ah, um, what else? The Home Office is working with the Department of Education to make sure children in care will be looked after. Um, but why is this preoccupation with children in care? Why are they so concerned that they're going to be looked after? I don't understand that. I would have thought that their preoccupation should be for children. Well, maybe it's because they've got nobody to defend for themselves. They're probably quite vulnerable. And those children in care are not un unlikely to have parents who are going to fill up those applications. So I know some money has been set aside for those children in care. Um, Zabano principle will not prevent the removal of a parent who is not the child's only principal carer. So if the child has maybe aunts and uncles and everybody's mucking in, uh, the Zambano principle won't apply. So you can't apply on that. So basically, those are the main reasons why um, there's a possible influx of children. They reckon about 275,000 children are going to be undocumented, are not going to have settled status, are not going to be able to ac ac access um education, universities, unable to um, have a bank account, unable to drive, unable to work. And then they're saying all of this will lead to crime. So I don't know what's going on here. It's really, really quite disastrous. I mean, you would have thought, I mean, I can understand that when they thought about Brexit, they probably didn't think about all of these little bits and pieces, but surely the bit, the picture, the bits of the puzzle are coming together and you can see it'll be absolutely disastrous to leave. Um, I mean, primarily, I know it's about immigration and I can understand why it's about immigration, because with the EU and their laws and reg legislation, it gives certain rights to um, people in the country for a certain amount of time and two people who have settled status and two children and two parents of children who have settled status. So I can understand why they want to um, cherry pick out of the EU deal so that it disadvantages those who are foreign and they can pick out the bits to their advantage, i.e. the trade deals. That's the only thing I can think of. Anyway, um, I hope this is helpful. Um, I'm not sure if it's good news, but at least it gives most of you who are not quite sure why um, EU nationals may have problems with their children. You know, sometimes your child doesn't even have to go to a doctor. But hopefully, I mean, I know there's institutions where, you know, you try to register a child and they're not on the system. And I don't know if that's because the child hasn't been to um, a doctor or what, but every child should be on the system because it's the only way you are going to be able to regularise the child and possibly yourself. It's no point trying to, I don't know, I don't understand why children are not registered on the system. I don't understand that. It's in the parents' interest to do that. Anyway, that's all for now. Bye-bye.